एज ह्यूमन बींग्स वी हैव बीन गिवन ए वेरी नाइस गिफ्ट बाय दिस नेचर एंड डू यू नो दैट गिफ्ट इज ट्रूथ ग्रीटिंग्स डियर व्यूवर्स आई एम योगेश कुमार लेक्चरर इन इंग्लिश एट जे एल एन सीनियर सेकेंडरी स्कूल गोहाना डियर व्यूवर्स वी हैव बीन गिफ्टेड द ट्रूथ ऑफ इनोसेंस बाय नेचर and we all know that it comes naturally but by our deeds as we grow in our life we generally vanish this natural gift you may have seen very small children with the same natural gift the moment we ask them something they generally tell everything which is naturally true about them but as we grow up we start mixing something in our that natural truth once a mathematics teacher was explaining some sums on addition when he had explained his sums in order to test what he has explained and whether his students had got him he started testing the students he asked one student mohan please tell me 2 plus 2 what's the sum total of the same the student said sir 4 very good mohan please sit down now sohan you stand up if i give you one mango and then again one mango how many total mangoes do you have the child says sir three mangoes three mangoes how can it be perhaps there was something mistake in it okay sohan please listen carefully if i give you one mango and again one mango how many total mangoes do you have the child innocently once again responded sir three mangoes this time the teacher got irritated and he said beta please listen once again once again please carefully with the gestures the teacher said if i give you one mango and again one mango how many total mangoes do you have again the child said the same in a sentence he said sir three mangoes this time the teacher was speechless he said okay beta please come with me this matter was taken to the principal office and as the teacher entered the principal office and when he was talking with the principal he said sir i don't know what's happening with the child when i gave the digits the child gave me the correct answer but when i gave the statement the child did not give me correct answer sir you can check it the principal said okay beta listen carefully if i give you two pencils and again two pencils now this time how many total pencils do you have the child said sir five pencils principal was also amazed how could it be the principal changed his question he said okay beta if i give you two chocolates and your mathematics teacher also gives you two chocolates how many total chocolates do you have this time the child said sir four chocolates the principal was quite happy because the child this time gave the correct answer but when he repeated the same question when he asked if i give you two pencils and again two pencils how many total pencils do you have the child again said sir five pencils this time the principal was also puzzled what's happening with the child when his mathematics teacher asked him two mangoes and again two mangoes the child said five mangoes when i put the same question with pencil two pencils and again two pencils the child says five pencils is there something wrong with the mangoes and pencils the teacher and the principal both were quite amazed 
After some time, both of them asked the child. They asked, Beta, we are not capable to understand what's happening. Please, you tell us what's wrong in it. When you put the question regarding the two chocolates, you gave the correct answer. But when we put the question with pencils and mangoes, you do not put the you do not give the correct answer. Is there something wrong in it? The child said, Sir, actually there is nothing wrong in it. You said two pencils and again two pencils I said and I said, Sir, five pencils because you can check there is already one pencil in my geometry box. When my teacher asked me two mangoes and again two mangoes, I said him, sir, five mangoes, because already my mother has given me one mango in my tiffin box. It was a naturally true answer, which was full of the child's innocence. So, dear viewers, let's preserve our natural values, so that we may pass these values to the next generations, which are yet to come. Thank you. Have a nice time.